From the MidwestSports.net studio, this is Midwest Sports Saturday, and good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's actually afternoon now, and a big game in Dallas right now, and that's captivated the attention of many of our viewers today. It's Oklahoma and Texas, and when we last left watching that (laughs) here in studio, it was 17-10 Texas on top of the Sooners. That's a second quarter score. All right, well, good morning, and thank you again for watching us here, Midwest Sports Saturday, live on the air in the MidwestSports.net studio. And we are brought to you today by Arnold Bourne for State Senate, and this is paid for by the committee to elect Bourne to Senate, as well as the Choctaw Career Expo 2018. Let's take a look now at the Division II football rankings according to the MidwestSports.net rankings. Looking right now, the top team in Division II, according to our list, is Southern Arkansas. Southern Arkansas, 5-0 and on the season, and... They defeated Oklahoma Baptist last week, 55-45, taking on Southern Nazarene today. The number two team in Division II in the Midwest Sports Region, and some big matchups happening this Saturday. It's Pitt State, 5-0, defeated Lindenwood last weekend, held on for a 27-24 victory, taking on our number four team, Northwest Missouri. That is today as Pitt State hosting that game in Pittsburgh. And number three, Washita, 5-0 and on the year. Those are our only three undefeated teams in the Midwest region. Washita defeated Arkansas Tech last week 24-7, taking on Harding today. And Harding, number six in our regional rankings. That one's going to be in Searcy. Big matchup there. We mentioned number four, Northwest Missouri, 4-1 and on the year, defeated Emporia State 41-0. There's that 4-1 and again, 41 nothing last week. Number five, Fort Hay State, 4-1 and on the year, Defeated UCO 15 nothing, all on the foot of the kicker. 15-0, five field goals to hold on for a win against the Broncos, and they are at Emporia State today. Are the Tigers Harding number six? We mentioned four and one on the year. They defeated Monticello last week, 41. Or excuse me, 47-21, and hosting Washita today. It's Chadron State in at number seven in our Division II regional rankings. Defeated Western State last week, hosting Adams. Or excuse me, on the road at Adams State today. The Eagles are four and one. Missouri S and T four and one also number eight in our regional rankings. Defeated Southwest Baptist last week, 48-23, and they are hosting Indianapolis. Today, number nine, Central Missouri, three and two, ten, excuse me, three and two on the year, up from number ten last week, and they defeated Missouri Southern, sixty-one to seven. They are on the road today at Central Oklahoma, and our number ten team in the Division Two regional rankings, the MidwestSports.net rankings, Missouri Western, three and two on the year, defeated Washburn last year, last week, thirty-eight to seven, and they are on the road today at Missouri Southern. Now, we talked about our teams here in Division II. One of those teams, the number three team this week, had a big victory last week over Arkansas Tech, and that was sealed by an interception in that contest. And you get the call right here and the video. This has been seen so many times on the Internet this week. A big interception and a big call from Rex Nelson. Bertram on third and go from the five will pass. Lutz got a man in the end zone, and he's picked up, and it's going to be brought out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 40, 35, 25, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. DeAndre Evans, no flags down, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. And that look on campus was brought to you by Arnold Bourne, paid for by the committee to elect Bourne to Senate in the state of Oklahoma. And, of course, uh, that one big in the state of Arkansas. Rex Nelson on the call there, and what a fantastic play-by-play announcer he is, has been a legend within the natural state. And, of course, a big win for Washita last week. Let's move on over now to Division Three. The schedule for today looks like this. It's Hendricks at Birmingham Southern. It'll be Central at Nebraska Wesleyan. Coe at Simpson today. Grinnell at Monmouth. Illinois College taking on Cornell. Loris at Buena Vista today. Luther on the road at Dubuque. Washington, St. Louis at Elmhurst today. And Westminster at McMurray. 
Moving over to volleyball now, NAIA rankings, the MidwestSports.net regional rankings. Many of the teams in the same, uh, in the top ten, so three newcomers this week, but the top three are the same. The Grandview Vikings, 16-0 on the year. They retain the top spot. It's Park. The Pirates are 19-0 on the year, and they are in at number two. And for those Pirates fans out there, NAIA Coaches Poll has them at the top of the national poll as well. Columbia, 22-2 and two on the year. They're in the number three spot. Missouri Baptist, 21-2 and two on the year, up two from number six. And a big, big matchup on Thursday night as Missouri Baptist defeated Columbia in five sets, 15-9 in that decisive fifth set. And so Missouri Baptist with 20 consecutive wins, and they hand the Columbia Cougars just their second loss of the season. In our number five spot in the NAI volleyball rankings, McPherson 20-1 and one on the year. They were the five-team last ranking as well. Central Methodist 18-3, and three, number seven, that's number six. Number seven, Kansas Wesleyan with nine consecutive wins at 18-5. and five coming into our rankings for the first time. Number eight, Midland at 16 and three. Number nine, College of the Ozarks coming into the rankings. Started the preseason ranking in the top 10. Back in at number nine, 21 and five on the year are the Bobcats. And number 10, it's Oklahoma City. The Stars are 15 and two, and they come into our regional rankings now for the first time. We stay with NAIA now, and let's look at our football rankings today. It's Morningside at 5-0 and on the year. They're also the number one team in the NAI National Coaches Poll as well. Why not? Defeated Hastings last week 65 to nothing, And a big matchup today at Midland. Midland, our number six team in the rankings. Number two, Northwestern. The Red Raiders defeated Doan last week 28-25. They are taking on Dort today. Northwestern 5-0. and Number three in our MidwestSports.net regional rankings, Evangel, the Crusaders, are 6-0 and oh and just continue to climb. They took out William Penn last week, 28-14, and they are on the road at Graceland today. It's number four, Kansas Wesleyan, 5-0 and oh on the year. Uh, they hold on to that number four spot. Nine of the top ten teams remain in the rankings from last week. Kansas Wesleyan, the Coyotes, defeated Bethany 70-24, to and they host St. Mary today. Number five, Langston, moving up a spot, 3-1 and one on the year, 3-0, and oh in the SAC. They defeated Wayland Baptist, Baptist 31-20 last week, and they are on the road now taking on Texas Wesleyan today. It's Midland, we mentioned, number six, defeated Jamestown last week, 35-28 in overtime, and they are hosting, are the Warriors are hosting Morningside today. It's number seven, Benedictine, four and one on the year, defeated Baker in a rivalry match last week, 23-12 hosting Central Methodist today. St. Ambrose comes into our rankings for the first time. The Fighting Bees are 4-1 and one and defeated St. Francis of Indiana last week. They are hosting Marion today. Number nine, Avila and the Eagles took the first loss of the season, losing 51-49, a barn murder against Southwestern. The Eagles are idle this week, 4-1. and one. And number 10, it's Grandview, 3-1 and one on the year. They defeated Missouri Valley last week, 20-13. They are taking on Mid-America Nazarene today. Well, a team just outside of our rankings here in the MidwestSports.net regional rankings, that would be Sterling. The Warriors hang on for a victory last week, and Kwame Sexton able to uh, assist in that as the Warriors defeated Friends, kept Friends over for the season Sexton with 11 tackles last week, three interceptions, and a forced fumble as he was the NAIA Player of the Week, and he talked about that honor. Kwame, well, you were recently named NAIA Defensive Player of the Week. What was it like to get that kind of honor? Uh, I mean, it means a lot to me because I, I've strived a long way to get back to where I am right now, and uh, it just takes a lot of support and a lot of love from my teammates and coaches and the community around me. So and a lot of hard work for myself as well. So, I mean, just everything clicks together and it happened and I'm thankful for it. You were named uh, KCAC Defensive Player of the Week for the second straight time this past weekend. What has kind of helped you uh, put together those performances and what are some things that have helped you along the way? Um, really, I say, man, it's coaches and like I said, my teammates, you know, we work hard every week and just keeping myself prepared for the games coming up on Saturday and giving my everything and 
just comes together. And, I, you know, it's a blessing. I thank God for everything that's given to me. That look on campus brought to you by Arnold Bourne and the committee to uh, paid for by the committee to elect Bourne to Senate, State Senate 6 race there. Uh, thanks to the folks at Sterling, the Sports Information Department, and to Kwame Sexton for stopping by today and being a part of our broadcast here on Midwest Sports Saturday. Well, that's NAI football. Let's uh, go back to volleyball again then. Division II rankings according to our MidwestSports.net regional rankings. And all ten teams that were in the regional rankings last week or in our last rankings stay in the top ten this week. Just a little bit of shuffling going on. Not in the top two spots, though. Washburn, the number one team, 20-0, and 13th consecutive, or excuse me, 13th sweep on the season. They pick it up, and they're the number one team. The Ichabods in the top spot. Number two, it's Nebraska Kearney. And the Lopers, today at Central Missouri, taking on Central Missouri, they're 21-1 and on the year, and they retain that number two spot. It is number three, Rockhurst, moving up. From number six, 16 and four on the year, the Hawks in our number three spot. It's number four, Central Oklahoma, 18 and four on the year. The Broncos continuing to stay up near the top in that challenging MIAA conference. It's number five, Central Missouri, 16 and four on the year, defeated Northwest Missouri on Friday night, and uh, they have fallen from number four to number five, but still, again, that tough MIAA conference there. Number six. As uh, Wayne State in at 14 and five on the year, and the Bobcats continuing to roll. It's number eight, Northwest Missouri, in at 14 and five, moving up a spot from number nine last week. Although falling uh, most recently, that was last night to the Jennies of Central Missouri. Number nine, Southwestern Oklahoma, 14 and four on the year, and they've moved up a spot. Pitt State falling from number eight to number ten taking on Northwest Missouri State today. The Gorillas are 15-6 and six on the year. One of those teams that's just on the outside looking in at our regional rankings, Harding, the Lady Bisons, started the week 7-0 and in Great American Conference play. Uh, we had an opportunity to hear from Coach Meredith Fear about the start to her team's season. Hey, Coach Fear here from Harding University. Um, just talk to you a little bit about our season we're having this year. We are 12 and 6. We're 7 and 0 in the Great American Conference and having a really great year. Um, we have seven seniors that are getting after it and killing it and doing a lot of hard work. Um, our conference is looking strong this year, so to be about halfway through it and be undefeated, um, we've worked really hard for that. Pretty lucky, uh, and we're just hoping to continue to do that all the way through. Road trip this weekend for the Harding Lady Bisons as they do the Northwestern Southwestern uh, Trek, uh, getting that part of the Oklahoma swing in. Uh, they faced Southwestern last night. They take on Northwestern today. And Coach Fear talked about the challenges of this road swing. So this weekend we have Southwestern Oklahoma State and Northwestern Oklahoma State. Um, Southwestern is sitting, I think, tied for second in the conference right now. They have a great home environment, um, so that's going to be a really big match for us. Um, it's going to be a good match. And then Northwestern Oklahoma State always plays really strong at home as well. Uh, so we're putting in a lot of work this week on preparing for for those two matches and for them to be gunning for us. You know, when you're um, two teams are at the top of the conference you have a little bit of a target on your back that they are going to pull out all the stops as far as maybe promotions for the game and a high attendance and just playing really well on their home court um, so we have to be prepared to go into an adverse environment. This look on campus is brought to you by Arnold Bourne for Senate and paid for by the committee to elect Bourne to Senate as Harding did come up on the short end Last night in Weatherford, the Southwestern Lady Bulldogs, a four-set victory over Harding, and now one loss apiece for each of those teams. Harding taking, or in the Great American Conference, Harding taking on Northwestern today, another GAC matchup. Well, we'll wrap things up here on this edition of Midwest Sports Saturday and take a look through today's football schedule as we visited already about the Division Three football schedule. Let's look at Division One, number one, Alabama, the top team in the country, the Crimson Tide. They were up just a few moments ago at Arkansas, 21-7. to It is Central Arkansas hosting Houston Baptist today. Arkansas Pine Bluff hosting Jackson State. Iowa is on the road at Minnesota. The Hawkeyes, 13-4 in the last 17 meetings with Minnesota. This is a Hawkeyes team that is giving up 
only four sacks, or excuse me, an offensive line giving up only four sacks all year long. The defense, by the way, has averaged 3.3 sacks per game. So Iowa taking care of things on the line. Iowa State at Oklahoma State today. Oklahoma State has won six straight in this series. And the Cowboys in the last 50 games in Boone Pickens Stadium, 39-11. and 11. Home field advantage there. It's Northern Iowa hosting North Dakota State today. Butler is on the road at Drake. Kansas at West Virginia. And the Jayhawks, they may have found a running back in Puka Williams, first freshman in football, excuse me, FBS history, to have four 40-plus yard games. Four games in which he had at least one 40-plus yard rush. I'll get that out. Uh, So Williams having a big year for the Jayhawks. They're on the road at West Virginia today. It's Kansas State at Baylor today. Missouri at South Carolina. Series is even 4-4 and all time between these two schools, and they're both coming in today off losses. Missouri State at South Dakota today. Southeast Missouri State on the road at Tennessee Tech. It's Nebraska at Wisconsin. Now the Huskers 0-4 on the year. It's going to be tough to think they're going to break that losing streak today at Wisconsin as the Badgers have won 16 straight regular season Big 12 games. We've talked about Oklahoma and Texas again just a little while ago. It was 21, or excuse me, 17-10, Texas over Oklahoma. It's the 113th meeting in the Red River rivalry. Texas owns a 61-46-5 all-time lead. You have to think about this, Oklahoma on offense today, as Kyler Murray has just been picked off once. Oklahoma is picking up nearly nine yards every time it snaps the ball, 8.9 yards per down. Thursday night matchup had Houston beating Tulsa just a little bit earlier. Tulsa now 1-4 and four on the year, Houston 41, Tulsa 26. And an interesting night for football as Arkansas State is going to host Appalachian State, and this is for TV viewing. It's going to be on Tuesday night, this coming Tuesday night. October 9th. We move to Division Two. We talked about some big matchups today. We start with our big one on the day, Pitt State, the number two in our MidwestSports.net regional rankings. Number two, Gorillas hosting number four, Northwest Missouri State. And the Bearcats own an all-time lead of 26-25. Wow, that's uh, pretty tight there. But the teams have split the last four. Northwest Missouri State is not allowed a rushing touchdown in 2018. And Josh Caldwell has 3,138 yards as a Bearcat in his career. That's third, by the way, among active Division II players. Well, you talk about the Gorillas as well. They come in having won 11 consecutive games with six straight last year. They're 5-0 and on the year this year, this year. And remember, it was Pitt State last year with the 20-10 victory over Northwest Missouri that snapped the Bearcats' 35-game winning streak couple of national championships in there as well. The number one team in the MidwestSports.net regional rankings, Southern uh, Arkansas hosting Southern Nazarene today. For Southern Arkansas, it's Coach Bill Keppel's 101st game in Southern Arkansas's 101st season. As the uh, Mule Riders' Barrett Renner averaging 291 passing yards per game. Primary target, Karantz Higgins, 596 receiving yards. That's sixth in Division Two. The big matchup today in the Great American Conference is number three, Washita, at number six, Harding. Both teams are in the top ten in Division II in rushing. Harding at 336.8 rushing yards per game. That's good enough for number one in Division II. Harding has scored 40 points in four wins. Now, the only loss of the season, the 28-23 loss against Southern Arkansas, and that uh, was weather-assisted, so the Bisons putting up points in all of their four victories. Washita's won 10 consecutive Great American Conference games since losing last season to, you guessed it, Harding. It's number five, Fort Hayes State at Emporia State right now, or today, and Fort Hayes State's Dante Brown, the player of the week in the MIAA last week. Why not? He had five field goals for a 15-0 win over Central Oklahoma, the Tigers, on defense, able to shut out the Broncos and make those five field goals hold up as Brown is topped in the Division II list, 2.4 field goals per game. By the way, Fort Hayes State, Jacob Mazera, now the all-time pass completions leader for the Tigers with 556 coming into today. It's number seven, Chadron State at Adams State as Eagles quarterback Dalton Holst, 61.7 percentage passing completions there with just one interception 
through five games. It's number eight, Missouri S&T, hosting Indianapolis today. Tyler Swart coming off a fantastic week last week for the Miners. Number nine, Central Missouri on the road today at Central Oklahoma. The Mules are 3-2, and two, but they're 0-2 oh on the road. Need to pick up a win today. 5-1 and one all-time against UCO. That loss coming last year in Edmond for the Mules on the road, 48-30. to 30. It's number 10, Missouri Western now taking on Missouri Southern as the Griffins have punted only five times in the last two games and nearly 75% third down completion percentage, 21 of 29 on third down. Missouri Western 25 and 23 all time in the series, but the Griffins have won the last five. Arkansas Monticello on the road today to take on Arkansas Tech. It is Oklahoma Baptist at Henderson State today. Upper Iowa at Minot State as the Peacocks 3-0 all-time against the Beavers. Northeastern State on the road today at Washburn in Topeka. It's Lindenwood at Nebraska Kearney today. And Lindenwood announced this week that the athletic program moving from the MIAA to the GLVC next year. So Lindenwood moving to the Great Lakes Valley Conference. Kearney 3-2 looking to pick up four wins for the first time since moving to the MIAA and that was back in 2012. It's Quincy at Lincoln today, Southwest Baptist at William Jewell. Truman State on the road at McKendree. Wayne State at St. Cloud State. East Central at Northwestern Oklahoma today and Southeastern Oklahoma at Southwestern Oklahoma today. And also then to the NAI where Morningside, the number one team in our MidwestSports.net regional rankings at number six, Midland, Morningside, Trent Solzma. Passing for 376.6 yards per game. That's number one in the NAI. Back to back shutouts, though, for the morning side defense. So the Mustangs getting things taken care of on both sides of the ball. Also, tops of the NAI list Connor Niles, 184.3 receiving yards per contest for morning side. Number two, Northwestern hosting Dort today. The Sioux City Showdown. Northwestern. 10-0 all-time in football meetings with Dort. They played consecutively since 2008. And number three, Evangel. Talked about them. The Crusaders 6-0 and on the year. They're on the road now taking on Graceland today. It's number four, Kansas Wesleyan hosting St. Mary today. The Coyotes putting up 61.4 points per game. 61.4 points per game. Wow. DeMarco Pruitt, second in the NAI in rushing yards per game at 160 yards per game. He also has 13 touchdowns. Langston again, 3-0 in the Sooner Athletic Conference on the road at Texas Wesleyan. It's Benedictine, number seven, hosting Central Methodist today. Benedictine's Marquise Stewart, 147.4 rushing yards per contest. St. Ambrose is hosting Marion today. The Bees defense averaging 3.4 sacks per contest. And number 10, the Vikings hosting Mid-America Nazarene today. The Vikings defeated Missouri Valley College last week to retain possession of Odin's helmet. That's right, the Vikings taking on the Vikings there. Have to love these names for all of these matchups. Homecoming today in Des Moines for Grandview. Lion on the road at Wayland Baptist. It's Briar Cliff at Jamestown today. Dickinson State at Waldorf. It'll be Baker at Peru State. Bethany at Friends. McPherson at Bethel today. Ottawa at Sterling. Southwestern at Tabor today. Culver Stockton is at Missouri Valley. At Lindenwood Belleville at Missouri Baptist. Hastings at Dones. Dakota Wesleyan at Concordia. And Oklahoma Panhandle at Grambling today. I want to say thanks to you all for watching us today. Made it through a couple of technical difficulties, but we are here. And we will be either in studio or on the road next week for Midwest Sports Saturday. Thanks again for watching. Midwest Sports Saturday has been brought to you today by Arnold Board for Senate and paid for by the committee to elect Born to Senate. I want to say thanks to all those who have been a part of helping me through this. Technical support by Courtney Johnson, Philip Morse uh, on the uh, support today. And also want to say thanks to Matthew McWilliams, uh, head of IT for Midwest Sports Net. So again, thank you for watching today. Lots and lots of college football, college volleyball, college soccer, and more on this first Saturday in October. So find a way to get to watch something and support your local small colleges as best you can. I'm Joey McWilliams. Again, thanks for watching. God bless you, and have a great day.